Greetings all, it's Blue Knight. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Previously, we started our adventure here in Fern Woods and tried to meet, and we're about to meet the Kikui Elder. Today, we're gonna meet with said Elder and see what the problem is around here, because chances are there's always a problem when we investigate a new area. Because that's the life of protagonist. Always try to help everyone and anyone without even trying to be rude about it. I am Buka, the Kikui Elder. I say the way you, you spotted me through by Eugenie's camouflage. That's just forget I'm stupid. I'm just being stupid right now. I can't talk. Let's just ask. Well, not where Zelda, obviously. Probably to know who Zelda is. So you met some of my people, Kui. Kui, so Maji is safe, eh? Ah, but the monsters—they are still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. And you're looking for one of your lost people as well. Hmm, yes. At one point during the monster panic here, I did speak with a blonde girl of your kind. But now it's not the time for such talk. The forest is full of monsters and I am worried about my missing tribe. The shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they're safe? Well, like I said, this is the life of protagonist. We gotta help everyone that needs their troubles fixed. Because they can't see to do it themselves. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikui Elder is an unfortunate setback. He may, he may still have useful information. Taking it into account, I calculate 85% probability that our quest will be aided if we find the lost Kikuis, of course. Expedite your search for the forest dwelling creatures. I have added Kikuis as a dowsing option. Do you need me to explain? No, we don't. Fine. No, we don't. What's the duff? Thank you very much. Or any keys you discover your map and disable that dots to reach for them. That way we'll revisit the same ones. When I'm ready, like right now. Let's go. Don't waste any more time. So find the rest of the of the Kikui tribe. It's actually fairly simple because they all go along a specific route. Oh, we found a fairy too. Of course, these will crush six of our hearts and will revive us should we ever lose all of our set hearts. So as I was saying, the rest of the of the tribe is actually goes along a, a very certain route. We can find them all in one passing. First, let's try to avoid these. Plants, uh oh. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. <laughs> that was close. If that pipe would have got off, I would have felt fallen off the rope. But that's good. That I prevented to do that, obviously. Cut that out to get another rupee. Blue one too. That's pretty good. <laughs> Nothing there. Let's cut up this patch of grass. Not much there. It's like we found one of the Kikui, but it's being harassed by this Repicoba who looks a little different than the ones we've seen thus far. That's because this one is actually a leader, as you see on the description. As a symbol of his leadership, this creature wraps a cloth around his head. This visually com communicates that it's more dominant than other Pacoblins. It calls his underlings to arms using his horn. So obviously we have to take this guy out first so we can prevent any more spawn. Also the red bandana apparently gives it more strength since we can't take it out just one swipe. Take out the rest of these. Now sometimes when I try to swipe left my control swipes right so I guess that's one minor problem I have with the motion controls. <laughs> but then again it's probably not me trying to register the left swing in time through its entirety. Yeah. Yeah, swing you down, and then fatal blow. Now we can talk to the Kikui. You fought off all those red guys, so does that mean you're a good guy? See, I've got this problem. My legs turn the jelly and I can't get down. Think you could help me? Well, I see there's only one possible solution to that, and it's not going to be very... Safe for the Kikui. Let's just say that. Yeah, fine. I know what to do. Thank you. I like you at all. Don't try to make me hate you now. 
and just roll out on the, on the tree, and it just plops down belly first. Why couldn't it land on its back? You just use the, the grass as, as its cushion. Well, that's just me. Ouch, that hole was effective. Anyway, thanks to you, I'm saved. Really? The elder was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear he's safe. My name's Lopsa. If you see the elder, can you please tell him where I am? Oh, my legs are still shaking. I've marked the location of Lopsa, but keep me on your map. Of course, there's still more we have to search for. But like I said, we could find all the Kikwis in one in one passing. That is if my memory is correct. I know we can find most of them. Not sure we can find all of them in one passing though. So I get this blue rupee. And now for the second time, we can do some more rope swinging. Huh? So I didn't get to go over the rope swinging mechanics from last time. We can swing the Wiimote. Get some speed going. Huh? Press A to jump. You can press B to stop and use the left analog, the left analog stick, the left the control stick on the nunchuck to to change your direction. Right, that took a lot longer than I expected, but we're probably on our way. Let's roll down this log, create another shortcut for us. Now we have to go right, but before we do, let's investigate this enemy. We actually saw it earlier in this in the game. It's called a Gwei. The bird seemingly genesis its droppings upon people's heads on purpose. It's clear if it's due to a carefree attitude or pure malice. Should its droppings land on you, I calculate the probability of intense aggravation at 100%. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. In other words, it's gonna crap on us, uh, obviously, if you couldn't tell. It's just best to avoid it because it not really it, it takes a while for it to try to attack you like it did to me. It's a lot more glacier than I thought, though. I could try using a Skyward Strike and take him out, but I don't think we could actually use it as a projectile. So it's just best to avoid them. So we'll head up this to this vine wall. Because this is where going to be the next kick we going to be. Well, that was very poor structuring on my grammatical part. I apologize for that for you English majors out there. I feel pretty bad myself because I'm pretty much an English snub myself. Well, at least I like to think so. In well, any case, we we'll have to cut up all the grass, the grains of grass around here, so it has nowhere left to hide. And eventually, we'll be able to, uh, I guess, officially fight it according to the game. Like I can't do it right now until this uh, thought bubble comes up. I've been discovered, and here I thought I had a good hiding place. I'm Erla. You won't find another key queen in these woods that's half as good as hiding as I am, except the elder, of course. The other wasn't that much better in hiding. Let's try. Try to use this attempt at camouflage was pretty pathetic on my part. From my opinion, I believe. I believe I do think so. Let's see, glad to hear you found the elder. If you see him, can you tell him here? Eh, maybe. Let's avoid all of you. Yeah, I'll just avoid them. Nothing really spec. Nothing of worth there. Uh, nothing of worth there. I'm trying to say. Now the next Kikui. Should I head up there? I think this is the last one might be actually. Though I could be wrong, there might be another one that I'm forgetting. So we go down this hole. And we head left. There's nothing here. Oh wait, there is. I'll think of another kick me then. There is two of them by my memory then. Don't eat me, I taste terrible, let me go! Huh? The other was worried about me? I'm glad to hear he's safe. I'm Ulu. If you meet the Elder, tell him here. This actually brings up something that I've been meaning to talk about. All the Kikwi are actually named after varieties of tea. I didn't really notice this until I... Uh, until I met Ulu, which of course means Oolong tea, which is probably the only kind of tea flavor that I know by heart. Even though I don't drink a lot of tea, I prefer it over coffee though. I've never been a, been a big coffee guy. I don't know why, I just don't like, I guess, needing a, a beverage like that to help me stay awake through the day. All I need is sleep, honestly. I think we have to go all the way back since there's no other shortcut, so 
I'll meet you back there. Never mind, I forgot about the shortcut I created earlier. Uh, me and my memory sometimes. Before we continue our search, there is one thing I'd like to get first. See far the distance? This item might look familiar to you Zelda veterans. So just tightrope walk across this way and we get our first piece of heart. Collect four to increase your heart capacity. So we have only three more pieces to collect. So that just activates us first of many pieces we'll have to find in, in this game. I hope I can uh, find them all by heart. Well, part of the pun, of course. At least by memory, I'm trying to say. Oh! Apparently I did find them all! I was running around for nothing then! Well, that's embarrassing. Well, in any case, we did find all the Kikui. Apparently, I guess I was just getting my memory mixed up again. It's all coming back to me. She, she says she had to travel to the temple deep within these woods. Oh, I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was, but the clever little thing vaulted over my belly and ran off on her own, just the same. I think she headed down that way towards the temple, but be sure to take care if you follow her. That area is crawling with monsters. Woohoo, I almost forgot. As for a reward for finding all of my fellow Kikwis, I will give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Let me just fetch it for you right now. Pardon me a moment. If I fetch it, he tries to flatten us for some reason. But in any case, we do get another item. This is the Slingshot. You can use this projectile shooting weapon to fling Deku Seeds at your foes. The hard seeds will stun your enemies. Press down at any time we want to set it up the cursor, like always. With this Slingshot, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where that temple is. Start when not shooting that curl of vine up there. Yeah. Press B to write your slingshots, then press A to let a shot fly. If you're out of ammo, just grab some seeds from the fruit that grows on the trees over there. Oh. Now go find that girl, I'll be rooting for you. Let's not waste any more time, and I said not waste any more time. There we go. All it took was two shots, one shot that I one less shot that I needed. Okay, so we head to the right, but first I want to get to that tree. Get some sort of rupee. Yeah, it was just a green. I was hoping for a blue, honestly. Oh well. So we'll just hop to the right, like you said, and enter our, start our way to the temple, rather. Not enter the temple yet. Still a ways we, we have to go. Why am I doing to get my sword out for? I'm not going to fight that guy. I don't want to waste time on the video. But I do want to investigate that uh, first statue, though. And I guess Fi was having the same uh, thought process. Well, that's good. Let's examine it. Not gonna save, of course. And shoot that vine. But I think if we come across that mark on the ground. Different information. You should be aware that you you can easily ready the slingshot. You use will go by quickly tapping B. Yes, yeah, so uh, tapping B will let you use the item you have uh, in that slot, but holding it down will will allow you to switch between the weapons. That's what she was trying to get at. And there's this little mark on the ground. I thought if I was saying something about that, honestly, I guess I'm just. Again, remembering things differently. I think I'd be a bit more paranoid about my information than I thought. In any case, let's just head into this cave and venture deeper into these woods. As soon as we can admire the architecture.
I have confirmed the plant life of this area matches that of Fern Woods. We have reached the area lo locally referred to as the Deep Woods. Now we should continue towards the temple in search of Zelda. It's not like we had anything else to do. Spread forward here! Yeah, got the guy before he was able to get his fighting stance ready, but unfortunately got these other guys to follow us, also these bees! Well, or hornets, remember, whatever they're called. But I'm gonna aggravate them further, further by taking out their hives so I can get this. The hornet larvae. They're a precious source of protein that comes from a deck hornet's hive. This material might be good for making something. Provided that you can get past the hornets first. I guess we really did throw up the hornet's nest in some case. But in reality though, I really hate bees. I actually got stung by one during a fourth grade trip and I've been very afraid of insects like that ever since, so... Uh, but I apologize in advance if I have some overreaction to these hornets of the future. I just never got over that experience, honestly. I know it's sad to say, but... There are some things that you're just gonna be afraid of uh, for the rest of your life, I guess. But anyways, let's just tightrope walk across this well rope. I see another Frippicola we can take out. Okay, I guess we could have with that jump, jump attack. Oh well. Oh, I got something. It's a ornament skull. The simple, slightly macabre fashion statement bears the Frippicola's symbol. Where there's anything up here? Mm. No, I think it leads back to that tree. Yeah, it does. But I could get that fruit though. Um, I am starting to run up a bit low on those uh, decker seeds. Uh, and of course, nothing comes up. Because I'm just afraid I'm going to run out of my decker seeds before we reach a point where we absolutely need one. <laughs> and again, that's probably my paranoia talk again. Got an Octorok. I'm gonna have to wrap up this episode soon. It's kind of getting long as it is, but we're not at a good stopping point yet. As soon as we get close to the temple, because I know it's around this general area. Okay, so this guy, we got to trick him a little bit. Got to approach him, but then back off as he's gonna try to type rope walk as well. So if you reach far enough, you can knock him off. And it goes to the endless pit below, never to be heard from again. Wow, Link sometimes can be very, very sadistic. And yeah, I'm already down to eight seeds, to my point. I knew we were going to run out of seeds very quickly. Now I'm going to come across the point where I absolutely need the slingshot, but I'm going to be low on ammo. Great. Just great. Okay, what is this about? Seriously, I I didn't even notice that dousing icon was going off until I was starting to hear that beepy noise. Can guy kind of irritating. Okay, for this rope, we gotta make a little ring start. And then jump off. Simple as that. Whoa! Just as I say that, it almost fell off. Guess I shouldn't be so arrogant. If we come up here near this tree, we'll have another small chest. And that gives us another red rupee. I guess that makes it for the one that I missed before diving off to the sealed grounds. But now we have another new Deku Baba of sorts, the Quadro Baba. This violet plant is widespread in wooded areas. It will attempt to bite anything it approaches it. More rare that Deku Baba Quadros have greater stamina. A golden husk and dynam dynamic mouth are this plant's distinguishing features. You have defeated zero of this, of course. It's my first time, that's why. So this Deku Baba, or Quadro I should say, as you can see, is very different because it can change the way its mouth is shaped. So it's best to just use a shield batch to cut off of the stem. Makes it easier to deal with. Yeah, what do you have to say, Mr. Gorko? See, I tell you, your cut timing could not have been better. Look here, I stumbled onto one of these things just now. It looks like something that I've seen in those ancient texts. If 
I remember it right. Yep, this is one of those things that God is was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought of a name for these things. I have been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Mm. Those ancient texts say there's some real interesting stuff about these things. How'd it go again? Let me see. Summons forth the light from a heavenly blade, and may the sword's master receive aid. So, there you have it. I see you got yourself a sword there. Why do you say we try and crack the mystery to two cube together? Sure. I think we'll try to pester us if we say no. This cube is made of some sort of metal I've never seen. I've willed on it, but nothing happens. You know, bud, I would say the key to cracking this egg is that one line. You know, the life of a heavenly blade. Well, that's a pretty obvious hint. Just use a skyward strike. And there you go. Whoa, did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. I think it reacted to that whirly beam thing that shot off your sword. Where do you think the cube shot off to anyhow? This mystery just got a whole lot more uh, mysterious. The texts say there are cubes like that all over the land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find as you can find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. What else do you have to say? Oh, I'm just gonna ask about wait a minute, temple, temple, I wanna know about the temple. The old text referred to a place near here called Skyview Temple, where as the story goes, a visitor from the sky will one day be received. Come to think of it, I seem to remember seeing an old stone marker somewhere in these parts. I don't remember exactly where it was written on the thing, but my gut tells me that it's the key to getting inside. Well, right behind them is actually the Skyview Temple, right over there. So I took. See, I told you we were a lot closer than uh, you probably think. And man, this episode's getting a lot longer than I wanted it to be. I seem to be having a bad habit of that as of late, but. In any case, we have another Goddess Cube. We'll be sure to. I'll be sure to tell what these things are later, obviously, once we go back to the sky, but. Trust me, those things will come in very handy later on. But in any case, we finally reach Skyview Temple. And of course, I've got to stop here for today, because this episode's already run, long, run enough as long enough as it is. Jeez. So next time on Skyward Sword, we'll be entering the Skyview Temple. And hopefully find Zelda. Or probably something just as good. I'm not sure what could be just as good, but you never know. Gotta be optimistic. Anyways, until we meet again, everyone, farewell for now.